see this, guys? Cheetos. Um, it's really easy when we are talking about saving money, eating healthy, real food, all that, to make it look like we are eating perfectly and that we never go out and get Sonic or things like that. Um, it's also, I think a lot of people, uh, let's see, I want to be nice here. Um, it's very easy to get very obsessive about healthy eating and um, when you have multiple family members with lots of different opinions, then especially as the mom who cares deeply about you know how her family's eating and is kind of the boss of the budget and all that, then we can take it very personally when people like don't like our food or want you to just buy. Okay, I had to change locations because kids came in crying. Um, but don't worry, I took care of them. So um, people like in our families will want us to buy junk food or whatever. Um, and it's very easy when you start learning about healthy eating and you start paying attention to the budget to really obsess over those things. And so I want to um, speak to both sides of that. Uh, one, in certain seasons, is very important that we watch every dollar that we spend and that we watch everything that we're eating. So, for example, my family knows that we can eat really well, really clean on $90 a week. That's kind of our, our golden number. We can do that really well. But when we do that, then I am policing everything that we eat and everything that we buy. And, um, and we're not necessarily eating everybody's favorite foods. And, and that's okay because we don't need to eat our favorite foods all the time, which is literally what I say to my kids every single day. But I just want to speak to that part, that season, okay? It's really good to be in those seasons. Um, but also, there are some seasons and some situations where you just need to relax a little bit. And um, if you've got a family member, I'm speaking in particular usually in a spouse, couple, in a couple, there is one spouse who's totally on board with healthy eating and all the weird food, and one spouse who is like, can we just eat pizza? <laughs> and so I just want to speak grace into that relationship. Like, this is not, this is not a life and death situation. Unless it is, because it can be sometimes. But for the most part, some of us just need to relax. And so as a result, you, you're gonna see in our kitchen and in our meals sometimes, like compromised foods because, because we're okay with making compromises and we are capable of eating super duper clean and we have done it in the seasons that we need to. We are also capable of eating super duper cheap because in certain seasons we've done it. But I just want to encourage you that whatever season that you are in to own it and embrace it and recognize which season you should be in. Guys, I did something really dumb. <laughs> this is what happens when you're not a farmer. So I'm in the chicken coop and I didn't want any of the chickens to escape so I closed the door behind me. Check it out. I'm stuck! The kids are all in the house and I'm the only one with a phone which I'm obviously putting to good use right now. And, um, not sure what we're gonna do. Someone send help. I'm about 25 miles from anything. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Either I'm not the first person to get stuck in the chicken coop or someone else was just figured I might. <laughs> because there's this uh, string right here and it goes in there and all you have to do is pull it and you're free. So, thank you friend who did this. You must have known I was coming. Under your arms, right? Yep. Uh, yep, ready? I think I might be a little too close to you. You good? I think I need to come away from you a little bit. Alright. Like no. Almost. Here we go. Woo! We did it! Dad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dad.
Dab. Okay. My turn. Your turn. Oh, that's the top. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Now that I'm nice and tired. <laughs> Ready? Come on, you got it. Up. Oh. Alright. Okay, we're making cheese blintzes, and I've never tasted them before. I've never eaten them before. I don't know what to expect, but I'm still working my way through Mark Bittman's How to Cook Everything, and today seems a good day to do it. We can do yes.